The heart is the primary organ of sense, hence the first cause of experience. When you look on the heart, you are looking at your assumptions. Assumptions determine your experience. Let's go ahead and underline that. Watch your assumption with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Are you running into a constant challenge in your life in a certain area? If so, look within. What are you perpetual, perpetually seeing in your imagination every day? What are you thinking about every single day on repeat? Whatever that thing is, is the thing that's causing the experience. Assumptions have the power of objective realization. Every event in the visible world is a result of an assumption or idea in the unseen world. If you get a sale in business, that result was because you expected it in your imagination. If you get a hundred sales, it's because you expected it in your imagination. If you have minus one sale, same thing. Meaning, you know, you're not getting a lot of sales. I want to let you know you're doing an amazing job. And thank you for doing great work so far in today's training. Realize that where you're at in life is you're doing great. That's all we want to do is do better. So see better in your imagination. You have the potential for it. Just see it. And we're going to work on that today. The present moment is all important for it is only in the present moment that our assumptions can be controlled. The future must become the present in your mind if you would wisely operate the law of assumption. The future must become the present in your mind. That's why when people say, I hope I attain my goal in three years, four or five years, I'll do this when that changes. I'll do this when that, right? They're saying when in the future, when things change, I'll change. But we, what we want to understand is when we visualize, we're bringing the future, your prosperous conditions to the present. That's how you do that in the moment in your visualization. Neville explains it here as we continue. The future becomes a present when you imagine that you are already are what you will be when your assumption is fulfilled. So if you want to be more prosperous, assume it in the mind by seeing yourself in the possession of prosperous conditions. And your assumption will be fulfilled. Be still, least action, and know that you are that which you desire to be. We've all heard before, everything that we could ever want or need is within us. Well, sometimes it's like, what the heck does that mean, right? Where is it? I don't know where that is. It doesn't feel like I'm that person already. You see it in your imagination. The imagination holds the key to all the possibilities. You being your ultimate version of you exists in imagination. The end of longing should be being. Translate your dream into being. Perpetual construction of future states without the consciousness of already being them 
that is picturing your desire without actually assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled is the fallacy and mirage of mankind. It is simply futile daydreaming. That's a major statement here. Okay, I would really take a look at that. I would circle that. So what it's saying is when people say, I really want more sales, but they're not assuming more sales within. It's a mirage. It's a fallacy. It's never going to work. It causes major frustration. It's like, man, I want way better results. Like, where are those results? But I'm not changing what I'm assuming within, right? That's going to get you into a place of being really irritated. I want better but I'm not there yet.